All right, guys, welcome to this bonus episode of Import 200 Challenge. So, the R34, I had just enough money. I had to sell two cars, sold the Aristo and the RX8 to max it out. This thing is so fast. In the zero to 1,000 meter, it destroyed the Super by like four or five, or like half a second. I think it was half a second. Either way, it, uh, man, it is insanely fast so i am in time attack mode here and let's just go oh i didn't have to buy these to test them out man i you know what that's doo-doo anyway we have them now but the gtr you just saw um i customized the impreza as far as exterior i didn't do i don't have nearly enough money to max them all out that's what I made it look like. Lowered it, put some camber, body kit, hoods, you know, all the good stuff. So that's what we're looking like on this bad boy. We're not pretty cool, right? All right, we got that. And then I bought the unknown car. I bought an RX-7. Didn't do any vehicle, you know, performance modifications, like I said, but I put the Re-Amamiya kit, that's what you call it, on. They had two different wings. I went with that one. Looks so good. Looks so freaking good. Again, I don't know what it would be like maxed out, but I also have the Emperor car and, like I said, the question mark car. So we're going to go ahead and do some laps. Um, they have different courses here, man. So here's the deal. They have record, right? It shows you. You go see one inside. And it shows you. See one outside. Left shin you know, counterclockwise, clockwise. You go down the Shibuya, Shinjuku, all courses left. The whole, look at it, look, just watch it go around. That's crazy. All courses right. That's it. So I think we're going to go right Shinkenju. All right. That's going to be, we're going to do other car off. And what we're going to do is test out the Supra, the R34, um, Emperor Speed, I think that's what's called in this game, and the question mark car. So it's going to be, you know, lengthy races, but I'll I'll cut most of it out because it's just going to be the same thing over. But I want to see how these cars compare. And our final video for this game, um, I couldn't afford to max out the Evo, so I don't know what the Evo would do. But either way, I'm going to start with this. What do I want to do? I want to do right. Yeah, okay. Right Shinkanjo. Alright, here we go. This thing is just silly fast. Look at it. Uh, I don't really know how it... It actually... It's very slippery. We have... All the best parts on it. Best tires. So for it to actually give out like that, interesting, because the Super was just so planted. Either way, man, this thing is a beast. Now, I'm not going to be using nitrous, so, you know, make it a little fair. Even though nitrous makes this thing get up to like 250, like no problem, I could use it. Actually, you know what? Nah, we won't use it. I did hit 254 in this thing on the stock gear ratio. 254. That's just insane. It actually handles very nicely. Yeah, I would love to get a nitrous right here. Maybe we will. Once we get to that first purple thing. At least this and the Supra. I don't know if the hero cars are gonna hero cars. I guess that's what you're we're calling now. I don't know if they'll have it. Did you know we can't customize them? But either way, I wanted to Skyline to get its top speed. Mess that up.
All right, coming across Rainbow Bridge here. Yeah, six gears very lacking in power on the R34. Like it'll go, but it just doesn't doesn't have the oomph. The Supra definitely excels top end. So where this has the acceleration, it can get to 200 very quickly. The Supra can go past that, but doesn't accelerate as quick. So, you know, every car has its, you know, strong points. But overall, man, this R34 is just insanely fast. I would actually probably... I know we're keeping a gear ratio of stock, but I would make this, I would bring the top speed down a little bit and give this even more acceleration and leave the top speed around, like drop it down like 20, go from like a 256 I think it is, to say like a 230-ish, oof, this thing would be even faster. All right, another section here. I guess we're setting the pace here for the other cars. Right, we're coming up to uh, the last checkpoint here. Let's see what this bad boy clocks in. It's kind of setting the tone here. 4:42. Oh, you get achievements for that? All right. Well, there you go. 4:42. So we're gonna go change cars. Get out the Supra. Yeah, the Skyline has like 60 more horsepower, 50 or 60 more horsepower than the Supra, but the Supra's got a little bit more torque, and they're about the same. Supra's a little bit lighter, by like 50 pounds. All right, let's see what this does. All right, record is 442. Yeah, I don't know, the Supra definitely keeps climbing on the top end where the Skyline was struggling to really get past like 205. But this is our nitrous spot. We're getting a six gear here. All right. Uh-oh, a little bit faster. But the Skyline here had better top speed, so I don't know, it's definitely gonna be close. Skyline definitely is gonna pull ahead here.
Uh oh, Super's winning. That's because it maintains a higher speed. That the Skyline just can't touch. But the Skyline, man, R34 definitely gets up faster. Because I, I did a test on the 0 to 1000 meter in the settings. And it, it beat everything. But, like you saw, once it gets to like 205 ish, it just kind of lacks. And that's where the Supra is a little slower in the acceleration, but it climbs. Can't touch that top speed. Well, unfortunately, this Supra might get this thing here, man. I bet you if we did like um, a C, like the C1 loop, the R34 would definitely, definitely win. But then we'd have to max out the Evo 9 because the Evo 9 might be able to hold its own on that as well. But we're out of money, so... And I'd only get 19 mil for selling the Supra, which is a little insane with how much I've put into it. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, barely. All right, coming up on the last little bit here. Ooh, it's close. Ho, 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 ho. I don't even know. Literally the same. What do we got? Photo finish on that. Jeez. What do we hit? It's not going to tell me. Ho oh, ho, the GTR took it, man. Wow, I was thinking for a, a, a bit there the Super was going to do it. I guess only on the um, coming across the Rainbow Bridge is where the Super got some more uh, top end out of it. But this, the GTR, man, half a second faster. All right, so now we have to do... Yes. We have... Let's do Emperor. First. No, I have not driven these. All right, here we go. Of course, we're gonna have to ship right away. All right, it's pretty fast. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to do a restart on this. All right, I did a redo on this because uh, it got uh, got pretty loose on me. So now that I know how to drive this thing, maybe. I don't know how I feel about this thing. We do have nitrous, so that's a good thing. It's not as like planted and grounded is the super in the skyline. It just feels fast for some reason.
All right, coming up to our nitrous section here. Might as well use it now. Ooh, six seconds behind. All right, well. Definitely feeling slow. Oof, 12. I might as well not even finish, honestly. Yeah, that uh, Emperor car is just not, you mm, can't hang with it. The unknown car, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do in this. Now this, uh, I don't think had a crazy top speed on it. Yeah, this doesn't really have a, it's, the acceleration is crazy. how short third gear was. Yeah, the handling and the... Did we just get two-wheeled? Jeez. The handling and the acceleration is insane on this. The top speed. Not there. I guess that's why they kept them on the C1. This might uh, lose a little bit on this section, but gain it back. The grip is insane. Okay, okay. I mean, it's a double Z. Like, what do you, what do you expect from this thing? It drives very, very well, though. We gonna use it. All right, we'll use it. Oh, it's close. That is close. rainbow bridge i'm sure if i drove this car for like 30 minutes i could really learn how to push it and you know what speeds i can really enter corners at and stuff but uh it's pretty solid Ooh. Mm. close one like that grip way better than the skyline or the supra See that? <laughs> Freaking days. This thing is insanely sharp. That's all I'll say about it. Damn. Oh, 
Oh boy, here we go, yep. This thing is the king. I guess that's why it's the question mark devil Z. You know, if you watch Long Gone Midnight and you know all that you already know about the Devil Z. Come on now. You can't beat it. It's alive, man. Car, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, you're losing me time here. You wanna go two wheeling? That's crazy. Come on, don't lose it now. Thing's wild. This thing would definitely set the fastest time on the C1. Hands down. All right, coming up on the uh, final, final two corners here. Oh yeah, this thing. That's it. Oh man. Five seconds, just about five seconds. That's a big difference in, in the racing world, man. Five seconds. Yeah, the way that thing handles, can't can't beat it. Can't. All right, there you go. The unknown Devil Z. Skyline R34 and the Supra, very close. But yeah, the the R34, the way it accelerates, man. The Supra, even though it can get you know, faster. It just doesn't. Mm. Wow. Well, there you go. So the question mark Devil Z car is the fastest. Freaking there you have it. We we'll might as well save, right? All right. So there you have it. That's it. That's the only bonus episode I'm going to do. I might do an episode where I have a couple car skins for a set of Corsa. So I might drive them around different routes in this game and then compare them to a set of Corsa just to do it. Uh, that might be fun. But besides that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. The Devil Z is the fastest car. Anyway, guys, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you on the next series.